Mark, you have today been appointed as the new manager of Rangers Football Club. How does that feel? A tremendous privilege and honour, uh, a club of this history and tradition. You walk around the Grand Stadium for me first time this morning and, and you smell the history, so it really is an honour. Did you hope or perhaps dream that one day an opportunity like this would come along? You can't hope, you're, you do, you challenge yourself and you hope very much that you get this, this type of opportunity, but uh, sometimes it, you, you dare not dream, you know, so we had jobs to do and things have gone well the last few years uh, and the last two or three years especially, so to get this type of opportunity fairly early in my manager managerial career it is tremendous and I'm looking forward to it. You've been given the guided tour of IROX this morning, what are your first impressions? I'm just sitting here in the trophy room, just look around you and uh, that tells you all you need to know, you know, the, the dark wood, the history, you smell the tradition. Um, you smell the success of, of the club and it's important that David and I come in here and recognise that and embrace the challenge and push forward. Davy Weir also joins the club on a three-year deal as your assistant. How important is that for you given what Davy has achieved at the club and also his knowledge of the Scottish game? His knowledge is very important. I mean, Davy and I, we, we were closely together at Brentford, as you know, um, but Davy always spoke about Rangers. You know, you could, you could hear the passion in his voice. He talked about the club and, and what it can achieve and etc, etc. So, that's very important. His knowledge of the game up here, his experience, his standing among the supporters and the people at the club is very important for us. And, and David and I work very closely, so I'll, I'll be leading on David a lot of the coming months. How big a part did David play in helping you make your decision to come to Rangers? A big part. A big part in terms of, you know, he always spoke about the history. And as, as a football supporter, you know about the big clubs around the world. But David spoke so passionately about the club and, and his experience and his, his knowledge of the club was really important and you get a real feel for it and then now that this morning seeing it for your first time for yourself it really is a it's a real privilege. Your name was linked with the manager's job for some time how big a decision was it for you to accept this next challenge in your career? A big decision you know it's important to say that a lot of thought I mean it has to work for all parties it's a huge decision for the club and I respect that and, and likewise for myself and David so I think the good the good discussions were held people were asking for updates but it's important to to be respectful to all concerned and uh, as I say, we, we've come to the right conclusion, hopefully looking forward to the challenge now. Well, it's obviously going to be a big challenge for you. You're building a new squad, effectively. It must also be a very exciting opportunity for you. Very much so. Very much so. We are. You know, players have left the club and, and we have got some work to do. Um, but we're looking forward to that. You have to embrace this challenge. I said it before. There's no point being feared by it. You have to relish it and accept the challenge and push on with it. And that's what we want to do now, playing-wise. Go to training ground this afternoon, talk to staff, etc. And, and see how quickly we can make progress. When did you first learn of Rangers' interest in you and did it come as a surprise? No, I was conscious. I, I mean, the most important for me to stress is that you know, Stuart McCall was in situ and um, I, was, I was not angered, that's the wrong word, but frustrated by some of the, the media comments um, which would make me appear disrespectful. That was never, ever the case. I would never do that to, to a manager and I hope Stuart knows that. Um, but once the interest became apparent, how, how can you not be, you know, obviously, um, as I say, flattered? to be linked to a club of this size and stature. So it was great to have to have the discussions and to push on with them. Everyone at Rangers has endured a, a very tough period in the club's history after the administration in February 2012. Is there something you had to consider before accepting uh, to become Rangers' next manager? That's really important in a very respectful way. You, you have to make sure that you have the chance now to succeed. You need to hear about the stability and the plans and the ambitions for the club. And it would be wrong of any manager or coach to, to come and not ask the right questions. You know, what are the expectations? What are the timescales? Because the expectation for club of Rangers, of course, is immense. But it's important that you ask the right questions at the right time, which we, we've done that, and we, we were very happy with the answers we got back, and I hope very much that the club itself are happy with what, uh, what we spoke about. You joined Rangers on the back of a very, uh, very good season with Brentford. What are your thoughts on Scottish football and the competition you will have to face in the, the Championship next season? Certainly never underestimate Scottish football, that's for sure. You know, people talk to me about different strengths of different leagues, but there'll be no underestimation from us. We realise the task ahead, what we have to do get a new squad together, work with that squad, gel it quickly, I hope, um, and try and put our, our fingerprint on the squad. You can't make too many dramatic changes too quickly, but at the same time, it's important for us to say what we, what we think about the game, how we want the game played, and, and what the first impressions will be. So we'll move as we would think the appropriate place, or pace rather, and um, hopefully push on. You clearly have a lot to do in terms of bringing players in, but also looking at the football structure at the club, what, what's your immediate priority, do you feel? Obviously players. I mean, we are, we are you know, a couple of weeks away from pre-season training, the first cup game on the 25th of July, so time is tight. So we have to move quickly, but it's about making good decisions. You know, don't rush into things and, and take players that you look back in six months' time and go, that was, a, that was a bad choice. We live and die by the quality of players that we recruit. Recruitment is paramount. And then uh, around that, the support network, you know, the quality of staff to create the environment that our players need to thrive on and, and develop and push on. So that's the, they're the two main prongs right now. 
In terms of your squad, have you had time to assess the players still at the club right now? Absolutely. You know, the last last few days have been spent looking at it. Again, you go onto certain platforms and you look at the players and they never show good things, which I'm sure the players would agree with. But uh, no, there's some very talented young players here and looking forward to working with them. And uh, as I say, we'll, we'll push on hard. Do you already have signing targets in mind and how quickly would you hope to bring in your, your first new faces? Yeah, we have some targets. I think any, any manager or coach would have his preferred targets. Um, but again, they're not always easy. You know, sometimes they're not available to you uh, or it takes time to secure them. So it's important that we recognise it, try and focus and, and push on with that one. But uh, we certainly have two or three players immediately we hope we could, we could bring in. Having worked in England, is this a market you feel you could pick players up from or are you looking to cast your net even further, looking perhaps around Europe? I think you have to look at what's available to you and what adds value. That's the biggest thing. I'll, I'll repeat that time and time again. You're looking for players that add value to your squad on and off the pitch. You may have a great player on it who's a real pain off the pitch. You've got to make sure that the balance is right. We want to develop the unity and the harmony in the squad uh, and we're doing it together, all pushing together. So that side of it's really important to David and myself. So we're doing, doing your checks, making sure that the qualities on the pitch are matched by the qualities off the pitch. At this moment, there's no scouting network in place at senior level. Is that something that concerns you at a time when the, the squad does need strengthening? Yeah, of course it does. But again, that's part of the, you know, the situation where we are now and we look to rectify that. And it's all about getting the best people. You know, it's, you live and die by your recruitment and, uh, and that aspect is very important to us. So we'll certainly look, look at that situation now and see what we can, we can do. In the past, you're one of the founders of the Next Gen Football Tournament for Young Players in which several top European clubs competed. How important will the youth set up be at Murray Park for you as you look to take Rangers back to the top? Really important. I'm a big believer in youth. That's my background. Uh, I love the fact that you can challenge young players uh, and bring them through. And, and the players come through the academy, uh, they're the heartbeat of the club. You know, they, they feel the passion for the club and they're one with the supporters. So big believer in that. But they've got to be good enough. You know, it's all very well saying about the passionate side, the emotional side. They've got to deal with playing in front of 45,000 at Ibox here. So it's making sure we work closely with the academy staff, give them every opportunity. And as I say, hopefully we can have one philosophy that goes right the way down through the club. Coming into Rangers, you almost have a blank canvas to work from effectively. Do you have a style of play you hope to see from your Rangers team? Yeah, I believe in players that, that enjoy having a football. I like players that dominate a football. Um, I like to, to, to work possession, take care of the football, refuse to give it away cheaply. Uh, and these are, these are how we want to, it's not the right way, it's, it's our way. You know, I hear people talk about the right way of playing the game. If you go long and direct and you win trophies, well, it's, that's the right way for you. But we like to play and, and dominate the possession, take care, create chances. And as I say, I'll be believing in young, hungry players who, who embrace new ideas. You're taking over from Stuart McCall, who took Rangers to the, to the playoffs last season. Have you had a chance to speak to Stuart, Alan McCoy, or other previous Rangers managers to get an idea of the, the job you'll face? No, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to talk to Stuart, obviously. And uh, as I said earlier in the in, in interview, I hope very much that there's no, no disrespect ever came across. That would never be my intention or David's. So I'd like to speak to him, but it was important to get this all resolved first before, before making that call. The fixtures for the new campaign are out this week. When they're announced, I'm sure there'll be excitement building up towards the first game, and particularly here the first game at Ibrook Stadium? Yeah, very much so. The, the tour this morning is, uh, how can you not be impressed? You know, it's a magnificent stadium, great venue. Uh, and our job is to come here and to fill that stadium. It's as simple as that. You know, we've got to play, play football the, the way we want to play, hopefully successful, get the right results and fill that stadium. And it's a very clear target for us. Later today, you're, you're getting the chance to see Murray Park for the first time. You must be looking forward to that, given what I'm sure Davy Weir and others have told you about it. Yeah, very much so. You know, it's an outstanding training complex, but that's our place of work. The players come to Ibrox once every you know, 10 days, two weeks, etc. But that's our place of work and that's the environment we've got to create that every day they want to come to work. And the programme of work, the people around them, everything has to be right to give them the best chance to, to move forward in their careers. That will be our sole intention. The Rangers fans have been incredible in terms of the way they have supported the club in recent years. How important will they be for you and what would you like to say to them at the start of this new chapter in the club's history? I've been staggered by the, the response already before today. So I hope very much they know what we're about. They hope they know we're totally committed. We know, uh, we know what has to be done. We, we are very aware of the tradition, um, the history, and what they demand as supporters. So I'm very conscious of that and, and uh, have total, uh, total guarantee for me that our focus is on that, provide the right style of play, the right results, and taking the club forward.